you got this tiny little tool. Boy, it's really small. This works on Bluetooth. And got a quick, like, quick startup instructions. I'm assuming you need an app. Yep, there's a QR code to get the app. So let's do that. If you have an account, you log in. If you don't have an account, you just log in and that creates your account. We don't need the instructions. So the first thing you do is you're gonna activate paired device. So we'll hit that button. And it wants me to scan the QR code on the dongle. Just kind of confirm a serial number, yep. And then it gives you instructions to insert it in. So we'll put it in the OBD2 port, turn the car on so we get power. Uh, I forget where the one is on this car. It's right here, okay. They're all over the place. Sometimes on the left, sometimes they're on the right. Let's kneel on the concrete, that'll be fun. Start pairing. Success. So it gives, uh, then it seems, comes up with the what car it is. So it got all of the Suzuki XL7. The VIN will pair. So now it's scanning. All right, so it comes up and says, faults found. Please perform OBD2, OBD2 check. ASAP. So that doesn't give it the first scan. It's just syncing with the car. So we'll say check now. So yeah, I will say I, one of the things that probably I didn't read the reviews. One of the things I'll say about the app, the app is sort of, un, in my opinion, kind of unnecessarily complex. It's a little bit like the, like the animation's cool and all, it looks pretty. And if you're into that, fine. I would appreciate probably a little simpler tool, but you know, I'm a simple guy and I just want to get things done. And so this is probably geared more towards a market of people who don't really do this typically and don't understand how everything works. And so it's trying to hold your hand a little bit. Um, so I found eight fault codes. Whoosh. So it goes through and has uh, found something in the control system, the emission system, the control system again. Interesting. Uh, I'm not sure why control system's on there twice. All right, let's look at the fault details. Heater control circuit, low bank one, sensor two. And then it gives you a critical level. Does it tell you what? Yeah, critical level two. So this is pretty cool. It doesn't just give you the code. It gives you kind of a generic description and a reason for the code. Like on my other one, you it just gives you the code. You can then, you know, click on it and it will take you to a Google search. It will pull up the, you know, do a Google search for that code. But this gives you some of the reasons. Now, I don't know if I would necessarily take this as gospel. Okay, so it doesn't really give a reason. It's just giving a description of what they are. Okay, so it's got some some exhaust uh, evaporation. Let's see, what's this one? Oh yeah, evaporative emission control system vent circuit malfunction. There's the there's the code check, right? The code check is like any other one of these tools. It has some other features here. You can do an in depth check. Let's see what that does. Start checking. Well, it has to do another download. Okay, and you can do a live data. Which a lot of things things a lot of these things will do too. Start the car. So it just gives you basic live data, right? Engine revs, RPMs, um, coolant temperature, how much fuel, voltage. So this is handy and you can look and see, am I charging? Yep. Um, how's my fuel look? Fuel gauge says just under half. This says 38.4%, so that tracks. And um, so you got a cold start, it was a little rebel high, now the revs put drop back down, 870 RPM. Throttle position sensor, intake temperature, so it just gives you, you could check more sensor data. Let's look at that. So it gives you a bunch of other things you can check and get live data. So that's handy for, uh, for different kinds of vehicles. If you did want to do a tune, you can output that data. You can't tune with this, but you can read the data with it. But also you can have this plugged in and it will track. You can leave one of these. Like these are, some of these are cheap enough. You can just leave it plugged into your car all the time. It doesn't draw any power until you turn the car on. So you're not gonna run your battery dead. And you can do recordings and spit that back out. So when you're driving around, 
they can come back with what did, what, are, what are we seeing? Are we seeing temperature fluctuations? Are we seeing battery voltage fluctuations? So that would give you an indicator whether or not your alternator is working right. Is your battery good? Um, is your is your cooling system working properly? Um, and not necessarily. Some of these have like this has a temperature gauge, but some cars don't. They just have a light that comes on if it's over if it's overheating. And um, similar with like this doesn't have a battery voltage, so. Uh, it would only I would only be able to know that either by putting a meter on it, testing the battery, testing the alternator, or I can just use this app and it'll tell me. But it'll also track your driving habits. <laughs> so that's a no for me. Like G-force, um, braking levels. You know, if you want to put this in your kid's car and track how they drive, you know, just saying. Application center. So common functions, diagnostic. So you can do a full diagnostic test, trouble scanning, in-depth, live data, a smog check. If you live in a smog or a, yeah, an emissions regulated state, you can do a check ahead of time and see if you are gonna pass inspection. We don't have that here, thankfully, so I don't have to worry about that. They'll do a full battery check. And then if you had a performance car, you could do a performance test. So that would give you zero to 60, so similar. A lot of these have these sorts of, of um, options on them, zero to 60, zero to 100 braking, smart dash. Oh, look at that. You can get your own custom dashboard and then maintenance reset light. Different cars have different maintenance lights. A lot of them, the only maintenance light you're looking at is going to be like your oil, you know, oil change. So, um, you know, reset your oil change light. Uh, some of the little higher end cars, like a lot of the European BMW, Audi, those kind of cars, I think have a, an annual, like a regular maintenance light. Like it comes on and says, it's time for your scheduled maintenance. And you go in and have them go through the full maintenance thing where they do oil and check all the fluids and and suspension and then basically do like a you know 117 point or whatever it is inspection so that would be for that this car doesn't have that i think the only sensor the only maintenance sensor it has is the is the uh oil change you know actually now that i'm playing around in the app when i said before it's a little bit ui heavy a little bit you know cutesy heavy it's actually not bad uh it the more i use it the more intuitive it got and i think for a basic user that um, just, it doesn't do this all the time. That actually, like it's probably for me as a power user, it, it's actually maybe a little more annoying, but for a basic user, this is actually probably really nice. It's real informative, it's, re it's real easy to use. It actually performs pretty well. The tool itself, you know, these tools are, they're all the same, right? Just a little Bluetooth dongle. It just outputs, it's just a sensor that takes data and outputs it via wireless to your, to your device. Uh, they're not that complicated. They're not that different. So it doesn't make a huge deal as far as what what one you have. But X Tools is a quality product. I've been very happy with them. I've had a few of their products over the years and uh, I've never had really an issue with them. I've talked to their customer service a couple times and they've been very good. So I think it's a pretty decent tool. Pop it back out.